morning everyone my name is ansudeer kumar working as an assistant professor of mathematics mlr institute of technology last lecture we have seen convolution theorem and problems on it this lecture we are going to cover applications of laplace transform to solve ordinary differential equations so let us see how to apply laplace transform to solve ordinary differential equations with the initial conditions so solve d square x by dt square minus 2x by dt dx by dt plus x equal to e power t and with the initial conditions are given as x is equal to 2 2 and its derivative dx by dt equal to minus 1 at t equal to 0 so let us see how to solve this this also can be written as x double dash minus 2 into x dash plus x is equal to e power t this is the given differential equation and the initial condition is given as x is equal to 2 at t equal to 0 and x dash is equal to minus 1 at t equal to 0 these are the two con initial conditions given this can also be written as x of 0 equal to 2 means at t equal to 0 x value is 2 and this initial condition can be written as x dash of 0 equal to minus 1 at t equal to 0 x dash is minus 1. Now using these two conditions we have to solve this differential equation. To solve this differential equation first step is to apply Laplace transform this is let us say equation 1 Laplace transform on both sides of differential equation 1. So Laplace transform of x double dash minus Laplace transform of 2x dash plus Laplace transform of x is equal to Laplace transform of e power t. We have formula of Laplace of x double dash. This Laplace of x double dash can be written as s square into Laplace of x minus s into x of 0 minus x dash of 0. This is completely Laplace transform of x double dash minus this 2 let us take it outside Laplace transform of x dash can be written as s into Laplace of x minus x of 0 plus Laplace of x is equal to what is Laplace of e power t Laplace of e power at is 1 by s minus a here a is 1 so this can be written as 1 by s minus 1. Now using these conditions x of 0 equal to 2 and x dash of 0 equal to minus 1 let us substitute this x of 0 here x of 0 we substitute 2 here also x of 0 we substitute 2 and x double dash of 0 we substitute this value as minus 1. So after substituting those values, let us see this can be written as s square into Laplace of x minus s into what is x of 0? x of 0 value is 2 s into 2 minus x dash of 0 that is minus 1 right minus 2 into s into x of 0 s into what is x of 0 2 minus s into sorry this is Laplace of x s into Laplace of x minus x of 0 value is 2 plus Laplace of 
x is equal to 1 by s minus 1. Taking Laplace of x, Laplace of x, Laplace of x common. So, we get s square minus 2s plus 1 into this is Laplace of x. Taking this minus 2s minus 4 minus 1 minus plus 5, taking this right side, this will become 1 by s minus 1 plus 2s minus 5. If you take out the LCM for this, you get 2s square minus 7s plus 6 by s minus 1. Now, I want x value from this equation or else Laplace of x can be written as 2s square minus 7s plus 6 by s minus 1 into s square minus 2s plus 1, right. So, if I want x value from this equation, taking this L to right side, it will become inverse Laplace of 2s square minus 7s plus 6 by s minus 1 into s square minus 2s plus 1. This s square minus 2s plus 1 can we write into factors. So, this can be written as s minus 1 whole square x is equal to inverse Laplace of 2s square minus 7s plus 6 divided by s minus 1 whole cube. To find inverse Laplace of this, let us apply using partial fractions. First of all, this can be written by partial fractions as a by s minus 1 plus b by s minus 1 whole square plus c by s minus 1 whole cube. When we write this into partial fractions, this is how we write. And we have to find the values of a, b, c and substitute in equation 2. So, a value is 2, b value is minus 3, c value is plus 1. After finding the a, b, c values, I am writing a, b, c values here. How we got this means by using partial fractions. Now, after substituting here, we have to find inverse Laplace of this. So, x is equal to L inverse of 2 by s minus 1 minus 3 by s minus 1 whole square plus 1 by s minus 1 whole cube. So, how to find the inverse Laplace of this? You can split this. Actually, this can be written as x is equal to L inverse of 2 by s minus 1 minus L inverse of 3 upon s minus 1 whole square plus L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole cube. Now, using first shifting theorem, how can we write this? This 2 you write it outside 2 into L inverse of 1 by s minus 1, L inverse of 1 by s minus 1. This 3 I am writing it outside, this can be written as 3 into L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole square plus L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole cube. So, this can be written as L inverse of s minus 1 is e power t. So, 2 e power t minus 3 into L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole square using first shifting theorem. Since we have s minus 1 terms in the denominator, we multiply this with e power plus t into L inverse of 1 by s square. Here also e is s minus 1 is there. So, let us apply first shifting theorem e power t into L inverse of 1 by s cube, right. So, L inverse of 1 by s square is t plus 
e power t into l inverse of 1 by s cube. We have one formula l inverse of 1 by s power n plus 1 that is t power n by n factorial. Here n means what 2. So, t square by 2 factorial. So, we get inverse Laplace as x is equal to 2 e power t minus 3 t e power t plus t square e power t by 2. So, this is the solution for the given differential equation. This is how we solve differential equation and using Laplace transforms. Thank you.